So we just got a package of new WWE Mattel Elite Customs from Angelo. But what I'm, what I'm going to start off with is a little preview here. Because this is also something I got from Angelo. And I got some stickers made for the GCW WrestleMania 8 Arena. And I can tell you it's going to be a crazy arena that we're going to build for that show. Uh, custom made and everything. So I just got some st uh, stickers made here. So we have the GCW WrestleMania logo. Then we got some uh, GCW logos. Some more GCW logos. And then we have two more GCW WrestleMania logos. And um, we're going to uh, get these to really good use in the arena. So. Uh, stay tuned to, uh, to the channel because I will be posting uh, in Arena Tour when it's uh, done and I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. And now it's time to get into the custom figures. Actually what I'm going to start off with are two figures that are not from Angelo. I actually picked these up off of eBay and uh, this is a very simple and there goes the helmet flying here of Balor. But this is a really simple uh, fix-up of Bala, actually. Um, so I think this is the two-pack um, with AJ and then the Elite 74. And then what happened is, so I think this is a torso swap and a, a kick pad swap. And I think it looks awesome. So you have this Bala in the black attire with the white kick pads. I think that looks awesome. And then you have a demon Bala here too in with the red attire so I, I think that looks pretty cool these are just like some additional Finn Balor's that I can use in GCW down the line so we can uh, change the attires up a little bit and now I would say we get right into the custom figures that I got from Angelo and these are just incredible man so uh, let's start off with the first one we have Randy Orton and this is the Wrestlemania 36 attire and um, this is going out to my bro Fix Skip Customs on Instagram. And he wanted to get this done. And um, I think the head is somewhere here. And um, the torso might be, I don't know, Angelo might have left that cracked because Fix Skip probably wants to change the torso to the more updated Randy Orton torso, which will look even better. So uh, I guess he will post it on his Instagram once it is completed. So. If you want to see that, make sure to check him out on Instagram. And yeah, really cool attire for Orton. Um, I, I really think we need uh, more Orton elites in these like new uh, logo attires. Uh, because they look really good, man. Um, this one in the more yellowish gold here. So uh, that is very, very cool. Very cool Randy Orton. And then we're moving on to a figure that I'm really, really jealous of. I would love to use that in like, maybe even GCW, maybe um, some action figure matches, man. We have from TNA, the Monster Abyss in WWE Mattel Elite form. And it is incredible, man. So um, WWE stage creator has been using Abyss really well, I think, in his fat. Uh, I, I loved watching that. Abyss had some great matches there and I think he's using the uh, Toy Biss Abyss uh, like it came out but now what this is is pretty much that figure converted to a Mattel Elite figure so you got I think this is the shirt from the Toy Biss the head from the Toy Biss and then Angelo added the Abyss tattoos on here and I think this is those are maybe Hulk Hogan pants from Elite 34 and man, it just looks awesome, man. Just imagine having this abyss and a pick fat in an action figure match. You could do so uh, really, really great hardcore matches with him. I mean, I really would love to put abyss against Darby Allen. I think that would be like a dream match, you know, like a monster's ball match. Abyss versus Darby Allen. Uh, let me know what you think of that in the comment section down below. But I think that match would like be epic. And now let's get to uh, which I would consider at the main event of this video here. We have the WrestleMania 36 Edge figure. 
and man i was just mind blown when i opened this again we had the edge royal rumble in previous videos you can check that out in the playlist i, I will just show you later uh, how you can access that playlist if you want to but uh, we have this edge from the ma match uh, with uh, randy orton and uh, it is just beautiful man angelo does such a great job on the edge head scans a uh, torso is just beautiful he added all the uh, chest and body hair there and on the back you can see angelo also added like a little bit of uh, redness to this to make this look more like an actual body you know um it's not like just plain like 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 a regular metal body this is like really custom painted really looks like lifelike man and uh, the attire is just beautiful uh, i think the elbow pads are the same as on the royal rumble edge that we had before knee pads might be too and then the attire man in the gray with the rated r logos then here this um, beautiful design on the kick pads i mean edge really has a beautiful uh, designs on his attires and uh, got all the uh, tattoos here as well and the head scan man i think this is like a basic six edge or two packs three he came like in a two pack with big show in that one uh, that you can use and i think that makes the best current edge head scan uh, if you update it to um with all the uh longer hair a uh, bigger beard and stuff like that so uh, this is the edge so this was just a little custom figure review here today i can tell you angelo is working on an incredible batch that we will have up on the channel uh, very very soon um so uh this edge is going to be available on the ebay page right now or um if you're watching this video very early it might go up a little bit later, but uh, I'll put the link in the description uh, down below so you can uh, check that out. Then uh, this Orton is, like I said, going out to Fix Skip Customs. That Abyss is going out to my friend Pat. And um, the Ballers, they are going to stay with me. And then obviously, like I said, I'll show you uh, the GCW WrestleMania 8 Custom Arena. Uh, as soon as it's done i'm not sure how long that will take maybe another week or so uh, but i'll make sure to so that it is really epic man really really big plans for that stage so we can really have that huge uh, wrestlemania feeling and uh, what i'm going to sh uh, show you guys now is like how you can access some of the older custom figure reviews if you're new to the channel i know we have a lot of new subscribers like in the last month we added like a thousand subscribers so uh, if you want to see like uh, the work that we have done in the past we have a full playlist where you can check it all out and i'm going to show you that right now all right, you guys, so here we are on the channel, as you guys can see. And uh, what I actually did, I upload, uh, I updated the uh, playlists here on the channel. So you can see all the most important content uh, right here. So uh, this is going to be uh, on top here, the latest of uh, GCW. Like we have the pay-per-view shows and we have the little clips building up to the pay-per-view shows. They're all up in the this playlist here, so you can check out uh, what GCW is up to. And then here are all the custom figure videos. Here's the last one we made two weeks ago with um, the Messiah Rollins, Kill Killer Cross, and Ray, Jeff Hardy, and stuff like that. Here are some AEW ones. Here's the making of the Edge Royal Rumble attire. Here we have the Fiend. Uh, here we have uh, Bray Wyatt in his uh, funhouse look, some AEW stuff. The first ever Fiend we had, AEW stuff, AEW. And yeah, this playlist goes uh, all the way back to a year, to like, I don't know, like probably like multiple years ago. Five, six years ago. And then down here we have uh, the latest action figure matches that uh, I made. Um, like WWE preview matches, like some fantasy matches and all that kind of stuff that is not related to GCW goes in here. So you can check all that out right here. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the video. I hope you uh, did enjoy the custom figures we had for you guys here today. Um, I might be back a little bit later today or if not, I will be back tomorrow so you can uh, 
I look forward to a new upload tomorrow. Thanks for checking this one out. And like I said, I'll catch you all very soon.